Well, a day in the life of Las Vegas, my dear soul and body, this is absolutely amazing. All my guests are so different. They've all got such different stories, but it's still in Vegas, and it's on Vegas Live with Nino. And of course, I'm your host, Nino, and I have reoccurring guests on all the time. And the reason why I do that, I want to find out. I'm getting a little nosy here. I want to find out what's going on. So anyway, we have poison hair, poison, poison ivy. Poison ivy. It doesn't look like poison ivy to me, does it? But he was on before, and this is his father, Lenny, Lenny Lee Blues. Blues. Right. So yes. I got his name right, Lenny. Now, I, I have to remark about Lenny, because Lenny, oh. I mean, you've got so much, you've got more stuff on than I'll ever have. <laughs> Why, look, you've got rings on every finger, bracelets and more rings and things around his neck, and then they've got these little fa fanny packs on their side. I don't know what this is all about, but there's a story behind it, right? How are yeah. you doing? I'm doing great. It's really, you haven't really ever great. seen you for a whole year. It was actually last year we seen you. Last year? Yeah. 2018, yeah. okay. Been very, very busy too with music. So what's that? you should be on top of the, the arena <laughs> now, are you? <laughs> well, I can say I'm pushing very hard to get there. Pushing very hard. Like you're talking about our style. This is, we, we try to literally like, So you change your So you change your style completely? Well, not change it. Like, if anything, my hair just grew longer. <laughs> that's if anything. He grew. He got yeah. his hair got longer. He grew, and yeah. and this is your father. Yeah, my father, father and son. And um, how are you able to work together as a father and son? Is it is it working? Obviously, it is. I, they're there. They're together. I actually find it very like we work together well. Like I say, he's the best. I tell him all the time, he's the best business partner I could ever have. Business when, partner, that's yeah, well, cool. Well, like not only that, business partner, friend, mentor, everything. And we are always on the same page about a lot of things. Now, I'm not going to say we're always agreeing. No. We always have our well, you can't grow your there. business if you don't agree. Exactly. If you agree all the time, exactly. nothing's going to happen. But we, we always, we're always right there. We yeah. know what we're doing. We know where we're going. Yes. We know what we're trying to accomplish. And then mm -hmm. we end up really getting it done, and we, we do a good job. So what have you accomplished that you really feel proud of in the, in the last sort of, say, a year or six months? I graduated. I uh, got my degree associate's degree in music business and technology oh really so season. that was yeah, that was a big accomplishment yeah 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 last time i was talking to you yes um, i was going to csn i was getting my degree and i just got my degree you just now. got your degree so i'm super you're absolutely happy excited about that. how will you happy. feel about his him getting his degree oh i'm excited i'm yeah. really excited did no. you have the opportunity when you were young to get a degree or do any of that no, only when I got in the military, after the military, then that opportunity. Oh, you're a vet, that's right. Yes, it's then a vet that right here. Yeah, it came after the military. Then. After the military. Yeah. Did you learn um, no, did you learn anything in the military? I'm sure you learned plenty in the military. But did you have any education in the military? Because I know a lot of... Yes, I do. I did. I For a while, I studied under the University of Maryland. I studied a really? foreign language. I, I studied Korean. And really? learned to speak a second language when I served five years wow. in country. So. What, what language? Korean. Korean. Yes. He speaks so fluent in that. So well, fluent. I used so to, fluent. but it's been a while. <laughs> been a while. But so, can you catch up with any of it? I guess you know. Can you now? When you say Korean, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be very ignorant here, and I really don't <laughs> mind. Um, does that mean you can speak Mandarin and different, are they the same sort of languages that can connect together? No, Not at all? They're different. No. They're different. Totally yeah. different. Totally yeah. different. Yeah. Totally different yeah. languages. Because yeah. 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 I always get confused who, because I know each one, each language is yes. so different. Yeah. That's like Europe, you know. Right. They see the whole of Europe and they think we all yeah. speak English. Well, as it so happens, they probably all do. <laughs> I know what you mean. But I know what you mean. they've what got the mean. French, Italian, and Greek uh, and all the yeah. different languages. All so different categories. Categories, yes, yeah. they have. Yeah. How many languages do you speak? <laughs> yeah, just speak Barely English. one. <laughs> Barely one. <laughs> just English. <laughs> just English. So in your career, you sort of, were you always in the music business or you? Always have, uh, since the childhood. So, yeah. uh, I was born in Florida, that's in the south, and my grandpa, they bought me my first guitar. I think I was <laughs> yeah. in between the age of 10, yeah. 11, yeah. and 12. And, and was he in the business? No, he played guitar and harmonica, and... Was, and he, was he ever in a band, or was no, he ever no, nothing? No, he never was, no. No, no. But, uh, but so you, you had, how old were you when you had your first band, or you were in your first band? I have played with different bands, but I have always been more or less a solo artist. Oh, really? And when, like, I go places like California, which is where I'm from, before I moved to Vegas four years ago, I play with different local bands when they invite me in. We did, I've done mm -hmm. weddings, I've done funerals, I did parties, I've done oh, I birthday parties. Yeah. I think we forget it. that, you know, whenever we think of bands, we think them performing in some, you know, a, a, 
a club or a hotel or somewhere, but we I forget. Played, I played those too. I have, yeah. I played a, I have played different, no place uh, constantly, but just different places different, all different around. Different places all the time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, for instance, if I go to California this weekend, I probably could go by my friends who do have a jazz band, mm. and just say, hey, Lenny, we're playing yeah. such and such a place. You're gonna you come like in? To do? Yeah. yeah. Stuff Why not? Like that's that. so welcoming us all the time. Yeah. Is that so welcoming. And so, what do you play? Uh, I just rap. I actually started. Just rap. Last time I talked to you, I yes. was rapping, but I'm now starting to move over to the instruments. Out of the piano, yes. I I'm trying to get my get those running. fingers moving. I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to become. You know, a, you have to get these moving, and then you have to sing, and then you have to remember all the other people in the band. So it's like it's well, a little difficult. As a, I'm not I'm trying to basically grow my. Um, my skills. Yes. I don't want to just be a rapper. I want to be no. all, all in, like kind of like all in one. Like, I want to be like a. Where do your Jack rap? Where Jones. do your rap songs Jack come from? Um, they come from me deep down with inside. Uh, actually, last time I talked to you about that, I was expressing and explaining about how I was making my songs about like a breakup during that time or like during bad times. But now, I'm literally trying to make music that. It's just, just people can just really coincide with and hear that. I and understand go it. And say, understand. Not, I've been there. Yeah, yeah. Not only just like. Or I'm going there. Or <laughs> even that too. Or even that too. Even yeah. I'm just really trying to get something to the people. Are you making ears. it positive rather than making it negative? Because I know a lot of the rap songs out there are very negative of the lifestyle they've been through. And sometimes you, when you really listen to the lyrics, you really yeah. listen. Um, which I don't know how many people are, are, do really listen to lyrics. I think they listen to lyrics more in rapping than they do with the other song. They like the music and they get involved with it all, which you don't sometimes understand the lyrics. Some but people are different. Some people like the lyrics. Yeah. Some people just like the beat yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah. And um, what you just said, I totally learned that. Last time I didn't realize what I was doing as a rapper, but like I, was, like I said, I was growing the whole time. And yes. I learned that my words are important. Very and important. They do in, uh, impact people when they hear it. Yes. So I had to do a lot of cleaning up and a lot of straightening out. That's why I was finding myself as an artist. And I, th I believe I did. And then I just released a new and song. You, I was going to say, are you getting a lot of work now? Or are you releasing your own stuff? Or yeah, yeah. And are you helping produce it? And yes. So you help mm -hmm. produce it. And do you have your own studio? Or do you, what mm -hmm. do you have? Oh, we, we have, have home recording, recording studios. Home and do you studio. have that at home? Yeah, home yes. recording. So studio. home recording, the reason I ask that question is so all of you out there know that you don't have to go to a recording studio. You can make your own at home. Yes, you know, it's as, uh, quite you expensive, know. but it's a it's a lot of technique <laughs> to go around <laughs> it. But you can do it at home. You can do it at home. You so, can do it. Yeah. But isn't it more expensive to do it in a studio? I mean, you know, you've got to come up with that mm. money for the recording and everything. Yeah, it is because if you think about going to a big professional studio, yeah. you have all that equipment that's already there. You don't yes. have to buy it. You just have to probably pay for just using just it. Just using it. Having your own uh, studio, it can be very expensive. So, do you ever rent out your studio to other people and you get paid? We have. Uh, but that's bit. something that we really don't prefer. You don't want to do that. Yeah. Because it's been in our home and yeah. uh, a lot yeah. of, you know, valuables, and yeah. et cetera. Now you're wearing these, na I call them knapsacks, or they're calling them... Panty packs. Panty, what fanny packs. Fa the fanny <laughs> packs. They've got these fanny pack things on. Um, they're wearing them in a different place. Because a fanny pack is actually about up your tush. That's what they were. That's why they were called true, funny true, back. True. So now you've got a whole story going like this. That's why you're wearing them. They, it's not that they look awkward. They just want to show us. <laughs> What is going on? So I don't know what's going on with all this fanny pack on the side. Well, I wanted to bring back the style. I'm not going to lie. I did. I wanted to bring back. I saw it one day and I said, I like fanny packs. I was like, I'm, I'm not, I get tired of having to dig in my pockets all the time like this. Like, yeah. you know, going in here like this all the time. So that's I what men like, are used to. I mean, that's what men do, <laughs> isn't true, it? You know? True, true, true. The pockets change. That's <laughs> where they, yeah, that's where they have everything <laughs> hidden. Now we got pockets <laughs> that have holes in them now. We will put something in it. It's yeah, it falls out. <laughs> Never yes, style. <laughs> so with this, you can actually, with, it's like having a handbag, actually, but then yeah. it's not. Uh, um, yeah. But that's what it's like. So this carries everything you want and everything you yeah, need. I got everything I got now, everything. I've seen more men actually carrying stuff than I've ever seen in my life. More, more than men. women. Very well, I don't know if I say more than women. A woman always has a handbag. She always sure. is like this big or this big or this <laughs> big. I prefer the smaller ones. Like, During yeah. the day, I wear a bigger one but because I've got a lot of stuff with it. But at night, I always have a small one. Mm -hmm. What do I need? I need a lipstick. I need money. I need lipstick, credit card, credit card and telephone. ID. Yep. That's all I yep. need. 
and my driver's license. That's all I need. <laughs> Can't forget so that. you don't need much. But so now men are carrying these things, I think, more often than, than before. I say it's a style. It's like a trend. Like, uh, a tree. like uh, I would say even back, like, uh, watch someone even bring back, I don't know if you're familiar with, crisscross. You know who the old, like, uh, like group was? There were kids. They wore, yeah. their, they wore their clothes actually backwards. And it was a style that they did. And a thing to you be know? different. And <laughs> it's just, like, things, you know, people do. Like, things coming you know, back, I'm thinking. Yeah, it kind of makes different. you, it, the reason why I do it, too, is like what my dad just said, it kind of makes me different. I'm trying to make myself different than all the other artists. It's like when people ask me, well, what's different? about me well, well can't they that. see <laughs> <laughs> i mean you know just got to look at the two of you and say there's something different going on here i mean no really you I are both that. looking very different as to what you're doing i mean you definitely look different trying to keep an image he's got i mean why don't you don't wear as much jewelry this is obviously a, a, a this apple is watch. a this is an apple watch which means he's got he's wearing his computer on his wrist and you've got everything else but a computer on your I wrist. I keep my time with my phone. Your time with that. He's even got a cross down here. He's got stuff okay. everywhere. Got bracelets okay. and things. He's got crosses. He's got all this stuff <laughs> going on. Why do you like doing this? Is this your image? Well, this is my image as Lenny Lee Blues, a blues musician. And, uh, I play, so you play the blues? I play, I play guitar. I play keyboard. I play harmonica. I play drums. I sing a little bit. And Why do musicians does it all? They have so much talent in the music place? I they play everything. It, I think we learn it as we go. You learn it as yeah, you go as, along. Yeah, the kind years, of as like, the years go it's by. It's kind of like a fire. Yeah. It like the well, it's definitely something because they all it have. Just they all I play well, I the piano. Out, I play I the. I started out with one guitar, and then I end up I got twelve or fifteen guitars, <laughs> <Yes>. different guitars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so which one? Which is your favorite? Uh, my uh, my Gibson. Your Gibson, yeah, my whatever Gibson. that means. Okay, yeah, I'll, my I'll, Gibson, I'll my Les Paul Gibson. My I would say that's my favorite. One hundred twenty-fifth year edition. Okay. Les Paul. I, and you just feel the difference when you play. It, it puts me into the uh, blue spirit when I. Uh, oh. When I. So each it. instrument puts you in a place. Yes. And they're all different me. too. They're all different. When you yeah. play them, they're when all different. When I play my Fender, I get into the rock and roll. Okay. You know, and then if I play my resin Fender, then I get into like uh, country. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That, Do you ever yeah. sing? Oh, yes, I do. In fact, if you have me back the next time, I wanted to I just got. I just got by the, the second so time, not just by the <laughs> third time. Yeah. yeah, we can do that. We can Soulja, arrange that. There's a Soulja sure song that I've sure Soulja song that I written, and I, I, wonder, I haven't released it yet, but we're going to be going back mm -hmm. in the recording studio, and I wanted to What's be... What's the name of the song? It's put silver wings on all the soldiers' chests. Okay. Yeah, and that's, that's can you give me a couple of lines? Oh, uh, okay, let's go like, uh, uh -huh. put silver wings on all the soldiers' chests, uh -huh. make them all America's best. They put their lives in harm's way each and every day, and that is why we have America's freedom today. Lord, 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 you live right, live with every step. Hey. Isn't that good? Hey, that's a very, that's like a veteran song. Yeah. Yes, it's for that's very, that's, that's exactly what it's for. Is that what it's for? Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. The blonde got it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, that's, that's yeah. absolutely yeah. lovely. Bring, and we need that. We Do we need that in this day and age? In this day especially, we need all yeah. that. It's, it's like a balance. Get America together. Yeah. Let's let's yeah. be together and let's be strong yes. together yeah. as yes. of yes. one, yeah. not two. Yeah, yeah. I, we can't be divided. It's not, no. I'm, I'm sort of... It's from my heart. When it's from your heart when you wrote it. That's amazing. So how can anybody reach you and book you? You getting booking now for rapping and... You're getting booking for everything. Well, everybody, oh, everybody can check us out on Instagram. Yeah, um, there you go, Instagram. Cool. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook. I just started a new clothing brand, too. People might want to start checking that out, too. You know, Poison Ivy Brand Co. So Poison Ivy Brand Co. Co. Yeah, Brand Co. And okay. All You're new apparel. I got women clothes, guy clothes, sweaters, shoes, iPhone And cases. you have somebody here in town to make it all for you? Or you I make do that. I do that. You make it. Yeah, I try to do everything so. So you have machines, or you have, would you have? Would you have a press machine? Or <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you got a factory? As far as making it, like making, making it, yes. I go ahead and just like draw my designs. I make all my designs myself. But like what the, about the actual clothing? Where'd you get that, that from? That, yes. I go through like a separate, you know, agency. You go through somebody they, in town. Yeah, and they print it out for me, and I get it like that. Okay, because I have a great person. I'll give you the name. 
Okay. David Jacobs. David Jacobs has a company. Okay. It's called Logo Droppers. Absolutely amazing, fabulous company. Logo. Him and his son, Mar yeah. Marianne, yeah. Marianne, and David. Um, they have this company, Logo Droppers, and they do they do um, sweaters. They do um, they do caps, sun visors. Okay. We've well, got one on. I want to check that out. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, logo sure. Droppers. Yeah. They're absolutely the best. They've got yeah. logo, 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 droppers. Droppers. logo Droppers. Logo yes, Droppers. Yes, Logo Droppers. Cool. We talk about publicizing. Yes, Logo Droppers. <laughs> Let's say it again. In fact, Logo Droppers. I was just putting one of my sun visors on, which is the old thing called, um, it's called Kids Talk. And I was just thinking to myself, I can have a cap made, Vegas Live with Nina on. And then I was thinking of the color, so I can have it black with red writing. Steve, what do you think? Shall we go for it? <laughs> Let's go for it. It'll work. Sure, I, sure, I was going to say, I might even might see if I can come up with a design for you or something like that. I'm always creating designs. Oh, oh how wonderful. I'm quite an artist. Yeah, you can try. You, yeah, go you, ahead. Yeah. Go through yeah, Steve with it. Yeah, yeah contact Steve. He'll, he'll, he would love to do anything like it'd that. It'd be easy. It'd be easy. Yeah, well, sure. I know everybody for says sure. it's going to eat. You know what? And I have to say this. Everybody says it's easy. It's great. And I'll do it for you. I'm still waiting. <laughs> That's Vegas. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. That's Vegas. You Everybody can do it for do me. It they for can do it they for me, and it's great, it. and it's wonderful. They're going to do this, this, and this for me. Well, thank goodness I've got the mentality of not waiting to keep moving <laughs> myself. Well, because me, otherwise, we've right we'll right we got it on camera. I'll put it right But they, all the others are on camera, I too, so I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing what I do know. I know they all mean well, and they all want to help, but, you know, time is of the essence, and sometimes we don't always have the time, you know, to put out there, but... You said, he said, yes, definitely. Oh. We'll do it. <laughs> we'll do it. Okay. Well, For you sure. two have been amazing. I wish you all the best of luck and everything. Thank and, you. you know, keep moving forward. Thank you for having us back. Abso again. Well, absolutely. Well, well you were the third, he was the third time. Lenny we're was always, the third time. We're always going to try it. <laughs> yes. Keep going, keep going and keep going on and keep improving and keep getting out there. And uh, there is no competition. You know why there's no competition? Because they are the competition. Yeah. We'll be right back. Make us live with that. Nina. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Yeah. 